Hello everyone, this is Dane. Welcome back to the channel. And this is Filipino Nurse Retires Home. How is everybody? I hope you are already prepared for Christmas. Otherwise, I, I'm prepared. You know, I'm not even really, I have not even bought anything. Not very costly at all. Um, plus, um, I am um, busy preparing for a lot of things, paperwork for my husband's 13A visa and having to order some COVID testing, not testing, uh, COVID uh, third dose for the booster um, and other things that I need to do. So guys, um, I just want to let you know before I get too far, I would thank you for all your participation to the channel and I hope I can continue on. Okay, I'm going to do my best. The only issue really, I really have to have some subject matter to talk about. I just don't, do not like to talk about any kind of BS, you know, just to get some views. I want to do something like informative stuff instead, you know, because that's the fit, that defeats the purpose of me doing it. Because you cannot, I really cannot depend on the revenue on YouTube, honestly. Um, it goes up and then it goes down the next day, you know. Uh, I was making a little bit there and then after that, now it's probably about $2 a day. Holy cow. I'm not going to depend on the revenue. That is going to stress me out as a retiree. So my retirement as well as my 401k, um, that's going to be my source of revenue, not YouTube. I cannot depend on that. I'm going to go hungry. So guys, I just want to be frank with you. So I'm doing this actually when I feel like it and when I have a good subject matter to talk about. Today is a good subject matter because I just want to let you know the update of my life. Now, my plans for 2022. Now, remember I was talking to you about um, going to the Philippines last September and we we're supposed to stay in the Philippines for about three months and I canceled that. That kind of trip that time, I used a travel agent. Now, I really did not feel good about the whole entire thing. For some reason, I did not feel good. My husband got a little sicky there. He was having fever, and I was thinking about something, you know, really that can happen while I'm gone, you know. I did not feel good about it. So, I canceled that trip, and I'm very, very happy about that. So it cost me a little bit of money because you cannot get all your money back when you refund something because you're going to be taxed. And um, even if you're covered by insurance, you're still going to be, there's some, uh, there's some deduction there. They're not going to give you all your money. So I probably lost all about $200 there, you know, for the taxes itself. But otherwise, guys, this time in 2022, on February, I'm going to go to the Philippines, hopefully, because the restrictions had really come down a lot. The COVID cases in the Philippines had trended down, so they're loosening up. But because of the variant right now, I'm kind of scared about this, that it might go up again, you know, and it can change things. And you know how in the Philippines, they can change the uh, rules and rules and regulation as far as the infectious control in a heartbeat. That's why the best way for you to look at, actually, um, there's a lot of videos there, YouTubers that is helping out a lot. And you go to the Philippine Airlines um, website. That's how you find out what are those restrictions and all those quarantine requirements that you have to comply. I used travel agent before. Um, I'm sorry, I used travel agent um, last time, but since my travel was canceled, I called another travel agent this time. Um, now, um, one thing about it, I always book my, my um, trip myself, but when COVID started, I had to kind of use travel agent to ease my stress in dealing with the um, difficulty of, um, you know, booking. Now, travel agent is all right if you do not know how to do computer, okay? But 
when I spoke to my travel agent, she stressed me out instead because she was so pushy. I want, she wanted me to book immediately for a certain trip, which I really was not comfortable. She wanted me to get uh, Philippine Airlines from LA instead of New York. And I did not really like that because it's too far out, you know? And most of those travel agents probably has not even really traveled internationally and they will decide for you, you know? We disagree back and forth about stuff, you know, during travel, but I noticed that she really does not know the law in the United States very much with the custom, you know? Um, so uh, there's areas where you can avail with a straight flight and that's only Philippine Airlines um, that's giving that. No other straight flight, uh, no other airlines that are doing straight flight from from um, United States. Philippine, New York, and there's a bunch of places in the United States and LA are the, is the biggest one. Now, I prefer New York, a straight flight, 17 hours. Now, while I was talking to her, I told her, you know, She's really stressing me out. I did not tell her that. I said, just back off a little bit. Give me two hours to process my brain and decide this, what's the best. Because she was telling me that her, her kind of itinerary is the best. And uh, she was asking me to pay for 2400 for the ticket. And I know that that cost too much, but her kind of itinerary was not very pleasing for me. You know, it's... Uh, I did not feel good about it. So I went online and did it myself. And I got a much cheaper cheaper price for Philippine Airlines from New York. It's about $1,000 lesser. Can you imagine that? So guys, if you have computer, do it yourself. Do not use travel agent because they're just going to stress you out. Because sometimes when you are forced to something, guys, you're not going to be happy. So... Um, you really have to be very careful about uh, making decision as like a um, decision out of impulse, okay? Try to do it yourself first. And if you cannot really do it, then use a travel agent. Okay? Now, as far as um, my plans, I have to do too much of a lot of things in the Philippines. I'm gonna have to rearrange a lot of landscaping and I'm really planning to sell um, a part of my property there in the island. I will have to sip, really kind of sell it, um, actively sell it in the market. And there's a little house there, a two bedroom house, all concrete in that particular lot I'm going to sell. It's about almost uh, 5,000, it's about 4,553 square meter. I sell that with um, a concrete house and this time I'm renovating that, you know, I'm putting painting. I might, I might share it with you how it looks, you know, but this time it's my caretaker who's doing the painting. So he will get um, some compensation for that on top of her, his salary. And I told him that on top of your salary, I'm going to give you an a incentive by doing the painting so he has somebody there with him right now painting the house and it's looking really really nice so I'm just going to um, do some not renovation but something like to help with the, uh, the static the static part of the house um, otherwise guys I will be a busy person I'm probably gonna do um, a lot of landscaping as well as Maybe I'm going to plan where the fencing is and so on and so forth and decorate the house if I can. But the rest, like cistern and building the, uh, the dirty kitchen, my husband would prefer to do it himself or be with me when we do it together. Because he told me actually, um, he was honest with me telling me that I have done already majority of the work and he wants to do something also to contribute so I'm gonna have to give him some assignment there he will probably do a lot of our um, furniture because he loves to build something an ordinary 
like a straightforward table, he can do that himself. He probably used a, a very matured um, coconut or a mulave. That's what we have there in the house anyway. We have that already there. Um, so he will be a busy person when he would retire. So hopefully when we retire, maybe this coming September or October next year, we will be almost finished. Maybe I would say 90% and he will be the one to purchase everything like our appliances and so on and so forth. So he will be very busy person. Otherwise guys, it's a matter of just planning things, you know, but I'm going to have to just lay low a lot and not, not sweat too much about stress in life. And I hope you're going to be doing the same. Okay, guys, thank you. And 